when they see what Rory just said too, are gonna go, what? What do you mean you're okay with this, but you still hate live? That's kind of talking out of both sides of your mouth. Nobody's having that. And what do you mean you knew about these talks going on before, and yet you didn't share that with anybody mm. else? Again, they're gonna feel like those guys in Canada. They're not the top echelon players, right? Other than Rory being there. These are not the dudes that were playing in Muirfield the week before. This is the middle of the pack and the bottom of the PGA Tour. The dudes that stood firm with the PGA Tour. And now you got the dudes sitting up there who got the money from the PGA Tour and is making all that pit money that these guys also aren't going to get saying, hey, this is going to be really good. Wait, you said it was going to be bad. Now it's going to be good? Like, there's a whole bunch of trust, and I think right now a bigger separation between the haves and the have-nots mm -hmm. on the PTA tour because the have-nots are not trying to have any of them. <laughs> Michael, real quick, because we got to go, but I'm, I'm just fascinated to see how it plays out as far as the fractured relationships. There is so much animosity between the players, some players, on both sides. How do you see that? I mean, do, do you see that getting fixed potentially when they all come together next year? You would be surprised at how the friendships have kind of mended already. But what you are going to see now is some of those guys being upset when live guys are able to get back and play PGA Tour events and they start taking spots mm. from the guys who are in that, media, that meeting in Canada. And that's the big problem right there. That's where, how do you fix that? Because I, I don't know how that is and neither do the guys out here, which is why they're calling for somebody's head. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.